Okay, so I think you get the idea. What I would have done here is gone over to the right and clicked on add in any one that I wanted. So what I'm going to do, I'm getting down towards the bottom, and you can see as she gets more towards the bottom that you get to much less related keywords. I'm going to pause this for a moment so you don't have to watch me add everything and get dizzy, and then I'll come back to the next section. So I'm going to pause for a second. You actually won't see the pause. Okay, I'm back. As you can see over here on the right, I've collected my first round of bullseye keywords from this group. And at this point, I would go through and see if I made any mistakes, and you have the opportunity. Let me scroll over a little bit. You have the opportunity to remove them if you want to, and then you can add them back. So I just go through and make sure that I hadn't accidentally included anything that I don't want to include. And that's actually an important step because our tendency is to be too inclusive and too excited about what people might be interested in our product. And we don't want people that might be at this point, we want people that are definitely 100% are interested in something that we have to offer. And, oh, I did make a mistake. Look, the word subliminal, that's too broad. So I'm taking that out. Just wanna see if there's anything that really doesn't belong here. I think I'm okay. I think that everything here represents, let me just read my definition again. My best prospect is someone who already knows about the power of still little messages and is actively searching the internet to find the best solution for presenting messages to themselves. So, you know what? I am rushing a little bit here because I don't want to make an ultra long video, but when you do this, this is an important st step to pause at and ask yourself to be strict. Filter out rather than filter in. Okay, now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is further refine the concept for Google because when we started here, we only gave it one word to define the theme that we were looking at, subliminal software, right? That's what we said, subliminal software here. But now we know the keywords that it thinks are most related to subliminal software. So I'm gonna include some of those here, like uh, subliminal message software, uh, su subliminal recording, I'm just going to much more squarely define um, what it is we're looking for. And I think that what that does is it triggers, there's a big fancy word called latent semantic indexing. And all that means is that Google has a big black box formula that when you give it a whole group of keywords, it says, oh, now I know what the theme you're after is about. And I can tell you people who click this group of keywords well, here's other keywords that they click as a group. And it just much more richly defines your target and gives you the opportunity to expand it. So uh, let's see if there's any other concepts in here. Subliminal power software. Okay. Subliminal audio software. It's a little bit of feel, but I've decided to include it. Even though it's not exactly what my program does, it's very, very close. Um, Self-hypnosis software. I was a little iffy about that, but since it was for self-hypnosis, um, actually that's, I clicked the wrong one, that's subliminal hypnosis, but we included self-hypnosis. Didn't include just hypnosis software because of the difference between hypnosis and subliminal. There's some overlap, but it's not all together. Okay, now I definitely want to include some of the subliminal CDs, subliminal CDs. Subliminal audio, subliminal MP3, subliminal self-help. And again, these are just all the keywords that I got that I know that now are now in my bullseye, which I identified in the first round. Now I'm going to add subliminal tapes. Let's see what else I have here. Subliminal self-help, learning, power. Just adding some of the keywords that might add. Subliminal hypnosis. You know what? I don't like that. I think that could, might be more like covert hypnosis. I'm going to take that out. Subliminal affirmations. I like that. Let's see. Subliminal program, subliminal training, subliminal music. Let's put those in.
and subliminal programming. You see what I'm doing? Anything else I want to put in here that represents a slightly different concept in my bullseye? I'm not going to put in subliminal stop smoking because I think that's going to trigger Google to go too far afield. That's going to go into all the stop smoking by itself. It's going to confuse me. Um, custom subliminal, subliminal sound. Custom subliminal. Subliminal self-hypnosis. Subliminal down, subliminal mp3 if I didn't put it in, and maybe subliminal download. Okay, now I've got a whole group of keywords that more squarely defines my theme. I'm going to click on that. That's going to take a few moments. Let's wait for it to come through. Bum, 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 bum. I'll sing the keyword song like a moose in heat. Maybe you should get something to eat while I sing the keyword song. For some reason it's paused. But I actually don't even think I need to record beyond this because I know you get the point. What you want to do is go through the resulting keyword list. And when that comes up, you want to choose the keywords that are still squarely fitting the definition. When in doubt, leave it out. When you are done with that, on the right-hand side, you go through everything one more time. Make sure, oh, here it is. Make sure it all matches. Let's take a quick look. And you can see the ones that are in gray are the ones we already have. So here's subliminal download. We got a new one. I like that one. Subliminal messaging music. I don't like that because these, I think, are representing paranoid people. BMV quantum subliminal CD. That looks like a competitor. I'll do that. I'm going to double check that in Google later. Um, subliminal recording system, I will take that. Sorry, making you pan back and forth here. Free subliminal 3D, I will take that. I'm panning back and forth because there aren't as many I'll take here. Subliminal message music. Nope. Subliminal message program, yes, I would take that. Subliminal language learning, yeah, I might take that. They're convinced of the positive power of subliminal CDs. There's the quantum, there's our competitor again, let's take that. Subliminal sleep learning, hmm. Yes, because they, they do technically meet the definition. They're convinced of the power of subliminal messaging and they want to program themselves with a solution. Subliminal audio tapes, you see, I've, gotten, I've actually gotten some more keywords now that I more tightly define the theme. Free subliminal audio, subliminal weight loss CD, subliminal message tapes, okay, free subliminal music. Mephisto, I'd have to look this up. I think that's a competitor. I'm going to take that. Subliminalpower.com, that's a competitor. Subliminal Message CD, I'm going to take that. Subliminal Power Pack, competitor. Message Download, I'll take that. Subliminal Affirmations, yes. So you see, I got a whole bunch more things that are very tightly squared away. Subliminal Weight Loss Tapes, okay. No messages in rap music. Um, messages MP3, yes. Music download, yes. Okay, so I'm not going to make you watch all this. The bottom line is you go through it all. You scroll back up here. Double check that you're okay. Um, you can do this iteratively if you, if you see more themes and you want to keep adding them. Just make sure that you stay very tightly constrained to your definition of people who already have your product on the brain. Um, because later on, you're going to see how to expand from there. And you might be feeling like, oh my God, I'm missing all this good traffic. But the truth is that that's a very dangerous feeling because what you want to do is figure out how to make things work on the best traffic first. And once you know what's working, you'll have a better sense of why it's working and you won't be as prone to expanding to keywords that are not going to work for you. Before you actually have a marketing system in place, everything seems like it's fair game and that's why people get lost. So I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to click on PSV file. It's going to take a second to come up. Here it is. I would open it, save it, and copy the words to my spreadsheet.